SOS Michigan. Thank you for joining us today for News 3 at Noon. I'm Ama Dates. Mike Bridges is off today. Ron Boyd will have a look at your weather first forecast coming up in just a few moments. But first this noon, we have probably all seen it in a cartoon or comic strip. A postal worker getting run down or a bit by a dog. Now for local mail carriers, the possibility of that happening is no laughing matter. For more on why this is on their minds, we turn to News 3's Nicole Masensic. She is live in our Kalamazoo newsroom with the details. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Ama. In 2005, three Kalamazoo postal workers were bitten by dogs. Now, we're only about five months into this year, and that number is already up to three. That's why today a dog trainer was brought in to help employees learn how to deal with feisty, aggressive dogs. Some postal workers were even used as victims. The dog trainer says by learning how to interact with dog owners and use the right body language with dogs, carriers could be safer. Now, overall, the dog may come out looking like the bad guy, but it's the owner who should be held responsible. It's still human responsibility, but um, the dogs not being able to know what their place is in this world also gives them a disadvantage. And the owners not knowing what their dogs are capable of doing. More trainings and demonstrations are planned for next week. So, Ama, you know, I'm a dog lover, but I know that I have felt afraid of a dog from time to time. So the person who actually did this training said everybody can benefit from just learning just a little bit about dogs and how they react to people. Yeah, now that it's warming up, more dogs are out. And it's one thing to just be told what to do, but to actually get to be in the action and see it happening definitely helps out to a lot. To be confronted by an actual dog is much different. All right. Thank you, Nicole.